so today I'm doing a different type of video I'll be doing a mukbang video with my dad and that's why I have a different type of style which is this African print Ankara Ankara print um bow that I used to wear back in the day like about two three years ago I used to wear them all the time every day to work out and whatnot and um, if you go down to my beginning of my videos I always used to have these on um anyway um so I just make them I just like grab fabric and make a bow so here's how it looks like and I'm wearing it because today I'll be doing a mukbang with my dad. So I just want to show like my look for the video today. Um, most of you that know me personally know that my parents are from Nigeria, born in Nigeria, moved to the UK in 1987. They got married. I believe it's 1987. He'll confirm when he comes on camera. Um, this is his first YouTube video. <laughs> and then it had me and my brothers over in the UK. So we were born in England and they are Nigerian British. <laughs> so yeah, um, I just want to show you my outfit before I introduce my dad so grab your coffee grab your tea and let's do this mukbang video we're gonna be trying out food from Nigeria and yeah give it a big thumbs up share the video and I'll see you dolls in the video let's go this is some of the food we'll be eating today here is some turkey leg it's a really big turkey leg some fish head or tails some rice and stew so this is the stew that I showed the other day in one of my videos and the white rice to go with it some vita malt so it depends where you're from in the world some of you who are caribbean will be familiar with this you have some rice jollof rice which is the most popular rice like nigerian rice and some people argue that Ghanaian um, jollof rice is better let me know in the comments down below if you tried jollof rice and which one is better and we have jollof rice and fish so that's jollof rice and chicken and that one is jollof rice and fish you have some meat pies beef meat pies you can have it in fish but we chose beef some puff puff which you'll see more of in the video and puff puff is like a sweet you know we'll, we'll tell you more in the video when we're trying them and we have some soup which is the popular agusi soup and we got two of them so here it is and then here's the fufu to go with it and here's some moi moi which we'll be trying that and this is like a mixture of like egg and beans so we are now gonna try these videos and get this mock burn started so here is food and everyone put a food emoji inside the comment section down below we're gonna be doing the nigerian mock bang and we have a lot of food here as i explained earlier what we have we have jollof rice which is really popular um rice and stew um meat pie puff puff and um which my dad um likes so, so that's more of him um he has explain what you have on your side i have my fish what's your favorite in all of this um the fish um the fufu the goosey soup which is down there and what other thing like what's your favorite uh, one that you can't wait to try out of all of this the goosey soup okay goosey soup okay so we're going to start off with the light stuff, I guess, which is like meat pie or the, and the puff puff. Yeah, I, I would. Yeah, I puff so puff we'll get start with the puff puff. Yeah, so I like this I one. Will, I don't eat puff puff. my malt. Malt. Okay, so tell them about malt. Look, the puff puff. But this is not puff puff. This is meat pie. And this is like basically beef. And um, yeah, you can have it in fish, beef. Um, some people are really cheap and <laughs> put like corned beef in it. They don't really use like actual real meat meat, so it just depends where you go. Like in London, I think London uses corned beef sometimes. Yes, like yes corned beef and a nice potato. Yeah, there's potato inside and, it. And um, peas. Some could be spicy. This one's like a bit mild spicy. Peas and carrots. Peas and carrots. It just depends where you go and get yours from. So, what's your favorite one, fish or beef? No, I like beef. Food. Okay. And then. And what, what do you say? You wash it down with malt? Yeah, I wash it down with nice malt. I think it's very good saying is washing it down with malt. Okay. We have a dog here that's watching us. You guys know Raven in the corner, not on camera. So if someone, if, if you see a dog run past trying to get some food, you know who it is. A lot of you already know who Raven is. So right now she turned away because she doesn't want to be, she knows we're talking about her right now. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So if you see a dog, finally she will come in because she can't stand not having food. So yeah. So tell them about London. What year you went to London. Tell them about London. Yeah. Well, we lived in London for 
close to 20 years, 20 about years, 20 yeah. years. But then the food over there is still is good. And um, we ate a lot of this over there also. A lot of what? Jollof rice? Jollof rice. Yeah. A good soup, fufu. Everything on the table here, you get all of them in London. This is really good, jollof rice. Yeah. I don't know and if you've um, heard about jollof rice before. But um, I skipped straight to my rice. I could do the meat pie later on. In Nigeria, that one, they will use nice pepper. To make it? To make it. And um, it's very good. And they go see the same thing. Do you like rice and stew or jollof rice? Um, I used to like rice and, and stew. stew. But uh, jollof rice, these days I like nice jollof rice, properly made. To, to be honest, they're the same thing. Uh, Technically, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. The only thing, the jollof rice is the stew cooked together. Yeah, so jollof rice is like this. Look at that. And then here's white rice. And here's how the stew looks like. So to me, they're the same thing, but then... It's cooked in, so I guess the flavour is different. The stew gets soaked into the into rice, rice yeah. while you're cooking it together. When I was younger, I used to think they're two different things. Or, like, I used to think... I used to think jollof rice came like that. Like, you can go and buy rice that looks like that. Because I never knew there was a process in changing the colour. And it's all about the colour as well. Do you know there's a big debate on the internet that... People say the one in Ghana is better. Some people say the one in Nigeria is better. Mm. And I can't remember, there was a celebrity who went to Nigeria and said that the Ghana one tastes better. And there was a big, I think it's Sierra, the singer. She said that the Ghana one tastes better. And there was a big uproar with Nigerians. <laughs> because it's a big argument between Nigerians and Ghanaians. So, of course, Nigerians will say theirs is better. Well, I'm a Nigerian, so... So, <laughs> by default, yeah. Yeah, but um, and Ghana... And, I've not eat, uh, tested Ghana so no, much, yeah. but uh, Nigeria is, it keeps me on. And then when you get down to tribes, some tribes say their one is better. So there's always an argument about which jollof rice is better. Exactly. Mm. You don't, I know you don't like fish. No, I don't eat fish at all. Mm -hmm. Not interested. Oh, this is the best too. One of the best. Oh, that's my meat. Fish. Apparently fish in Nigeria is a high commodity. Don't worry, you're not on camera, my mate. That's my meat. <laughs> Oh, yeah. No. Take your meat. You're not on camera, don't worry. Okay. They can see your hand, that's all. <laughs> She's trying to dodge the camera. So, this jollof is really good. Really good. If you're from Houston, this jollof was bought from a store called Wazobia. So a lot of my Houston subscribers, if you're looking for this, I don't even know what, where the camera eye is. Because mm -hmm. the light is really bright. Mm -hmm. West Timer. So go check this out. They have good jollof rice. And their rice and stew is good as well. And if you've never tried it before, tell them LB sent you that you watch this video. Show them this video that you learned from me. If you're interested in trying Nigerian food, try Wazobia. They've got good prices. I think this was $4.50 for this, for this rice. So it's really affordable. Nigerian food is good. It is. This one, the Gucci soup, it's a lot of protein. <laughs> protein. Where do you get these facts from? From Nigerian scientists. You guys, they don't have facts on this food. Like, for this, we don't know the calories that are in this. They don't really put that information on there. We just go by guessing or seeing when your stomach starts to get big. Who told you yeah. that? <laughs> and we'll get to what makes your stomach get big in a second. We'll, we'll get to it really soon. If you want to watch your height, your weight, mm -hmm. go for this. Rice, you guys. Find out. <laughs> Look at the portions of rice. Do you think they'll have this portion in Cheesecake Factory? Do you think they'll have this portion in Cheesecake Factory? No. Nope. Yeah. They measure it with you. Yeah. This one. You, That's why you don't your, know. Yeah, well loaded. And then another thing that they say that I do agree is pepper soup, which we don't have in this video, but we would like to do a part two of this mukbang. So if you're interested in a part two, comment down below and we'll be including things like pepper soup and suya. Um, pepper soup is like good when you have a cold. It's really good because it clears your nose, your nasal area. So it's really spicy. 
I don't know what I could say close to gumbo. Is it kind of close, kind of close to similar gumbo, yeah. similar to gumbo? But yeah. it's more of them. Um, you know, sometimes mm-hmm. we have it in a fish, and then meat. It's more like watery. Beef, yeah. yeah. The raven, come, come here, round here, this side. You want some food? Come and eat. Come. Come here. You guys that want to see Raven, come really gently because I have a feeling she comes around. Let me do the camera down. <laughs> She's confused. <laughs> he doesn't understand. She hasn't seen this much food, like, <laughs> and the camera is on as well, capturing the food. So, explain your experiences of when you first came to London. Like, Dealing with the cold, coming from Nigeria and dealing, having a harsh, a harsh reality, a harsh well, culture shock. The first day I went to London, I didn't, I didn't. In what year? I didn't have them. Um, Tell them the year. That's a long time. That was. Um, that's older than 1987. That's 80, right? you know, 1988. Okay, correction. At the beginning of this video, I remember when I was doing the intro, I said 1987, 1988. I know I got it wrong by a year. So. How was London back then compared to now? How much have things changed? Yeah, the city has changed completely uh, because um, the population is served. Uh, more people. More people in London. And um, even last time I went to London, it was a little bit confusing for me. Yeah. But um, somehow it's still all the same, just some. Uh, there are uh, high rise buildings, a lot of them these days in the city. Um, city of London and um, and the business area like a Canary Wharf. Canary Wharf. Yeah. But I didn't get to the Buckingham Palace. To go around. I went to Buckingham Palace. And back in the day, I don't know if they still do it now, maybe you can tell me. We've been before when you take a picture with the guards and the guards come out of their little station and they have those big um, things. I think it's a wig, right? Or, yeah, they, st- they still do it. And it looks like those Marge Simpson, like it looks like Marge Simpson's hair. Well, it's like this black thing they wear on their hair. They still change guards and come out of that thing. Yeah. You can get close to them take a picture, right? Yeah, get But they're not protecting the queen because the queen's not inside there. Mm-hmm. Well, they're still protecting because they are the gate. But she doesn't live there. Well, she lives there. She lives there, and um, I thought she lives in Sandra. She no, she stays there sometimes, and then um, go to the countryside also. So yeah, she has many places to stay. Oh yeah, she stays there particularly during official um, duties. Have you, ever, state, head of state, head of state have you ever met anybody royal before in the UK? Or anyone notable person? Not ever? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to work with them. With the agri department. So I, from time to time, we meet them, peace. But nobody royal? <clears throat> No, royal. I've told people before you have a letter you wrote to Diana, the late Princess Diana when she was alive. Yeah, she has one, you guys, that could be sold. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but I don't know what. You have I, it. You still have it, I don't know how it much has that the royal, It has her royal seal, seal on it. Yeah. The stamp. Yeah, but I don't know how much that will sell, but I'm not selling it. You want to keep it? Yeah. She replied back. Mm hmm. But it wasn't, it was it handwritten from her? It's handwritten, I don't know if it's uh, handwritten or not. In those days it could be. Yeah, so, but... Um, this chicken is tough. Yeah, we say hard chicken. Yeah. In Ni- we have hard chicken. Nigerians who prefer hard chicken. Mm-hmm than the soft chicken you normally eat, you eat here. Mm-hmm. So the hard chicken would be the what you call free range. Mm-hmm. 
but the other one is to some the one that you get in the supermarket. So mm. Nigeria prefer hot chicken. Really hard. Yeah. It's not. Is this boiled chicken? It tastes good though. Mm -hmm. It's just hard. Why do you prefer hot chicken to chew it? Mm -hmm. Do you like the tough chew? When you chew hot chicken, you know, this thing then you have your teeth get stronger. So, they eat a lot of fresh food back. In, in his era. Tell them about your childhood and fresh food you used to eat. And crack and fish. Yeah. Tell them. Well, we live at the river, so mm -hmm. we normally do our, our fishing with local and local that, I mean local way we do our fishing. Mm -hmm. So I grew up a fisherman. Mm -hmm. But I doubt if I can still go back doing that now. You can't catch? Mm -hmm. It I, takes a skill? I will still, yeah, I still know how to, but... And none of my brothers know how to catch fish. No, they can't. They've tried. <laughs> they can't. <laughs> none of them. None of them can catch fish. So it's not a natural thing. It's low. Yeah. So... So, what kind of... What kind of food do you like over there in Nigeria more? Pupu. That, that you don't really get much here. Something that's unique. Mm, that you don't there are lots of them. I can't even remember some of them. List some of yeah. them and describe to them. No. Um, hmm, I've forgotten some of them. But most of the things we eat in Nigeria, we still get them here, either imported or grown here. But it doesn't taste the same, right? That of Nigeria would be more of, um, I mean, organic uh, organic food compared to maybe here, fertilized and so on. But in Nigeria now, every, everybody is going fertilized. I mean, um, growing with fertilizer and... Uh, so it's more natural, basically. Like yeah, and, yeah it's, it's more natural in Nigeria in those days. Well, now it's something to change. Yeah. So, would you say you miss the food there that you used to grow up with? I do. Yeah. Now, I've been to Nigeria once in 2005. 2005, yeah. I wish you can enjoy it with us. No, it's hard. Like, even just smelling it. What? Huh? Even them just smelling it. Yeah, if mm. I can pass it through the, through the, through the, the, the this thing, yeah. that would be great. You, in a short moment, <laughs> just I'll come back in a moment and I'll dig you again. <laughs> Very nice. Um, Jalop fries. Jalop fries. Okay. With fish. <laughs> I'm coming back to this. So we're going to go on to some white rice and we're going to just try a bit of it. White rice and stew. You can try some from my plate if you're just trying it because I'm going to just try it as well. Okay, mix it. Let's and we need a We need a plain spoon. Oh, it's a, a lot. Oh, the, what plane, uh, Look at the oh. flames. Yeah, Mama, give us a spoon, please. I've got my spoon. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we need two spoons. Yeah. Okay, I have my own spoon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're good, we're the good. rice is okay. Stop mm. eating. Food is stew. Food is stew. Don't worry. And here is the stew. This is like mixed meat. Nigerians, especially Nigerian men, like um, what they call a sorted meat. Mm -hmm. A sorted meat. That's like so many different types of meat. They don't just eat one. Right, mommy. Thank you. She's not in the. She's not in the video, no, but you can. You can. You can. You can, <laughs> you can. You can tell me. You can tell them. You're not in the video, but just tell them. Don't they like assorted meat? Mm -hmm. What do they give them? The words they call it pomo. <laughs> pomo. Yeah. Jackie. Jackie. I can see it. One of them I used to call when I was younger jelly meat, which is this one. <laughs> is it? Is it cow tongue? Does this got to do? With, yeah. Someone else on YouTube tried the cow tongue. Oh, is the tendon? Is the there's there's so many different types. Like mm -hmm. Nigerians can eat anything as long as it's it was as long as it's meat, you know. Like they can make a, they can make a meal out of it. <laughs> Especially yeah, they don't they don't waste it. Especially those who were like around the time of the war. Like my mom said, they ate stuff like lizard, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no, no. This is fact. 
<laughs> it's bad. My dad tried to like hush me, but it's the truth. Like they would eat anything at that time to survive. Which oh, you yeah. need to tell them, mommy, about no, the experience. He didn't eat. Then I had oh yeah, because he wasn't. He wasn't part of that, was he? Grasshoppers. Yeah, yeah. So it's the area she's from. <laughs> this smells good. So like they would make a meal, and there's another thing in London I used to see. Nigerians eat snail. Mm -hmm. We should have had it for this video. French do eat snail too, I found out. Some French. Some I used to like it, but not now. Not now? There are many things I used to eat in Nigeria, but... And the snail is this big, you guys, like, like fist size. And in London, there's a store where they'll be crawling. <laughs> Me and my brother will cross the street and go around that store. We didn't, we didn't, we avoided that store. I don't even know, that should be a health and safety thing, mommy. Live snails were crawling and almost crawling onto the street. And they didn't care. Remember that store in, in Deptford where the snails were in like a, in like a basket? Yeah. Good, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The stew's good, yeah. right? It's not good. It's good, yeah. not good. The stew's it's good, good. good, good mummy. Huh? The stew, the stew is oh, good. Oh, really? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> big, big thumbs up. If I do from Wazobia. Wazobia. I'm going down there. You like it? Yeah. It's really good. But so I'll save it for tomorrow. Like you don't really need much sauce. Yeah, yeah. yeah food good. is good. Yeah, this ain't. We're not. This is not advertised by Wasobi, you guys. So if you're in Houston, for real, check them out. I'm not advertising. They pay me to advertise this video. This is just things I actually eat. So I tried this on Wednesday. You saw in the video I posted. Mm. So I wish they would advertise. Hey, Wasobia. <laughs> but I'll put the information down below if you want to check them out. They're in Houston, a Nigerian store here in Houston. If you're one of, I know a lot of you that watch this are in Houston, a lot of my subscribers. Check them out, don't be shy. Look at the stuff that I'm, like pause the video on the stuff that I'm eating and like the jollof rice and just ask them for it. And it's, you know, they'll help you find it. So um, check them out. It's, not, it's good to try new stuff and I promise you, you'll like it. This is slightly spicy. So a lot of my Spanish subscribers, you would like this because, yeah. and you, you guys have something that looks like jollof rice a lot of like my yeah they do, yeah, they do. Spanish, people. Spanish people have something similar to jollof rice uh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you like it? Mm -hmm. it's almost like designer stew right? Yeah. but without all the it's nice it's nice so we're just trying a little bit this is shaki jollof rice originated this from is shaki this looks like shaki yeah, yeah. that's shaki shaki I wish you guys can see it closer Next time we do a video, I'll have like a camera and just zoom in close on the stuff. Mm -hmm. But, Jackie's kind of tough. Sometimes it's kind of. There's one I put jelly meat. It's like jelly looking. Jackie's mm -hmm. is good. That is the other cow or goat intestine. Oh, that's what I've been eating this whole time? Mm -hmm. I never even told me. It's the cow intestine. Oh. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I am drinking Arizona. Which is very much American. Malt is not Nigerian, but they love malt. Um, I drink malt. You know, a lot of Americans don't like that, the taste of it. Yeah. And a lot of Brits too. I think that's really more of a Caribbean and African type mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. I've, I've given that to friends in school and they don't like it. It's the taste actually of it. made um, malt for Denmark. Denmark. They make it. I bet you they don't drink it as much as Nigerians drink it. I don't it. think so. Yeah, <laughs> it's not their first choice of drink. <laughs> um, there's another thing that Nigerians like a lot that makes me laugh. It's called bomb vita. <laughs> Mom, you know? Bomb vita. That's all I used to hear about back in the day. An oval team. If you're Nigerian and watching this, and you grew up in a Nigerian household, you know what I'm talking about. And Milo or Milo. Milo. <laughs> You're, you, you're finished? No. <laughs> I'm done with seven. I'm going to try some of the moi moi now. And mix it in with my rice. You want to try some moi moi? Let's try. You're not trying? I'll eat, I'll I, like that one. I like how that one looks more. Okay. Let's swap. But the... But the, the, the um... Let's try it. Let me try this. Oh, you want to try some of the moi moi? Moi moi, okay, mommy, come and describe what you would say moi moi is. It's beans. It's beans. Black beans. Black eyed beans. Black eyed beans. And you can put fish in it. Anything in your Anything you want in it, just mix it up. Not all moi moi's are good. It's very, I think it's a tricky thing to make. Mm -hmm. It's not all of them. Mm -hmm. 
So let me try this one. This looks like it has fish in it. I can see a sign of fish, which I'm not impressed. Yeah, this is fish. Nope, that's it. When you see that, that's fish. Fish has been here. Yeah, How did I get fish? No, but that's not fish. Do you? There is fish. I saw a fish at the bone. Yeah, well, enjoy yourself. Let me take this. Uh, I don't have to do with fish. I'm so, not interested. You think this is the, no, okay, that's the fish there. Uh, what, what do they have? They have chicken or... You can put anything, right? Chicken, beef. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wonder if that one, should we check if that one has it? Let's eat this one. Well, eat that it one. has egg in it, you guys, look. Uh, then leave every one of them and eat it to me. At the end, no, no. That's, that's cheating. Maybe, what? maybe you, maybe you directed me in the area where it was fish. This one, you picked it. This looks like for something that you picked out. Yeah. Is that one meat or it's still fish? It's, it's just them. Um, I think it's just egg. It's egg. It's egg. Yeah. No, there's this has to be. It's egg plus something else. Ooh. Because there's something about fish. It's a fish. No when one. fish touches anything. The flavor goes around. Right, mommy? Yeah. It's not like meat. Fish, when fish touches any food, the flavor goes throughout the whole food. Mm -hmm. So I can taste it throughout the whole moi moi. Yeah. I don't have to eat the fish, but I'm tasting the fish. Well. This is a very tricky one. I feel like more people like meat than they like fish. Okay. I think so. Yeah, the majority of the world like fish. Comment down below. If you like fish, Put a fish emoji in the comment section. <laughs> if you like me, and we'll tally up the most of them, the most, the most of what. Okay, let's do this: fish, chicken, and meat. But well, sometimes I class chicken as fish. No, chicken as meat. Sometimes I put them in chicken the same boat. Yeah. yeah. So it's put a meat, meat emoji. Yeah, the, yeah, it's white meat. Put a meat emoji if you like meat. Put a fish emoji if you like fish. And the most ones there will prove my point. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what they comment the most. I feel like most people. I eat. I like fish. Fish. More than meat. So okay. let's see. I think the majority of people in this house like meat. Yeah. He's like the odd one, you guys. We can do without eating fish. In I, this eat, house. I eat fish. Yeah. He don't. He don't. He don't mess with chicken, especially. No, I don't. Yeah, you don't chicken. like chicken at all. Like, Unless it's properly. Prepared. Unless it's like a fried chicken or fried chicken. You do you mess with fried chicken? You mess with um. Um, chicken wings. Yeah, chicken, yeah, chicken wings. wings. But he won't eat like this chicken. He's not. Chicken wings. He's not into this type of boiled wing chicken. Wingstop. Wingstop. Yeah. 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 He likes like a specially prepared chicken, and he likes dried chicken. Yeah. Like he said, it has to be like really kind of burnt almost. Yeah. yeah. And toast as well. I think you eat toast, but like you like dark toast. toast. Yeah, dark toast. Yeah. Really dark bunk. You guys, my dad doesn't put um, sugar in his coffee. No. I used to like sugar. I don't know why. I don't know how you do it. I know a lot of you watching are probably just like that as well. I judge people who are like that. I know how you enjoy the coffee. What? That's what the coffee is all about. It's the cream and sugar. I do, he doesn't even put the cream. He just puts he just puts milk, a little bit of milk. Yeah. You then, um, then you wouldn't like Starbucks. No, I don't go there. Huh. Yeah, mess with Starbucks. Let's go for this. <laughs> you guys, you're trying to rush me into eating the Eba. Eba. Tell them what how do you spell it so they can know. E B A. Eba. Is that the official name? Yes. So we're going oh, to start. Oh, oh, I call it fufu. Fufu. So we're going to start what he's been waiting for. Drum roll. <laughs> Mommy, clap in the background. <laughs> Nigerians always do. I didn't do it. This is more of like a Nigerian man type of thing. Not really even women do it. It's more of men, right? Mm. So when they eat, and this is something that they did like growing up in the village, but they transfer it over to the UK or America or Canada or wherever they live that's not Nigeria. Even though they have a tap where they can wash their hands before the meal, like any other place, they like to use a bowl. Exhibit A, when we bring the bowl. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> To wash their hands. Watch this. So my mum's bringing a bowl. Show them the water. A bowl with water. Not even just soap. Water. Look. And then they flick it off. I guess. No, I guess it's. I guess it's. It's part of. <laughs> no, you're going to eat. I've already washed my hands before. I've got to use one. No, I'm going to use my hands. Okay. So and then we'll just wipe it down. But I've never. Mum, do you understand it? Yeah. You understand it? Why do you do that? Okay. Yeah, I'm moving it. The trace case. I'll bring it back. 
Sir, so, that's what they do. They have a tap where they can wash their hands conveniently with soap and everything. But there's this tooth, I guess what they grew up with, right? Mm -hmm. So we're starting, he's already racing ahead, you guys. So he's looking because he feels he's been cheated by me. Yeah, you cheated me. He wants a specific meat that is bigger. I think that's why you want it, right? That's it, it is it. Because it's bigger. It's not only bigger because it is the skin, the cow skin. The cow skin, this is it. So that's what he's searching for inside that's, there. Yeah, the cow skin. Because I want it there. The cow or that goat skin. That smells really, really good. Yeah, so? You can pass my own. So hold that up to them and show them. This is your yeah. This, this is, is a what piece. you call a goosey soup. Hold your one so they can see. Yes, mine. Enjoy my meal. A goosey soup. You're looking at that camera. Yeah. That, that side. <laughs> Let me to eat my food, man. <laughs> so we're going to eat a goosey soup, you guys. Yeah. And here it goes. You guys, I don't truly eat soup that much. I'm going to just put that out there. So if I look awkward eating it, it's because it's not... You know, right, mommy? Mm -hmm. It's not part of my diet. But like, yes, yeah, I've tried. This I've you. tried. So some people eat yeah. it with rice. I've seen that on YouTube before. Yes. Some people eat the soup with rice. Yeah. Because I've seen some people who are not Nigerian say that's actually a nice meal. Mm. Yeah. So this is the what you call ib, ib, um, the iba, iba. Iba. Fufu. Some people make, like, play with it before they eat it, right? Yeah. So it's rolled in this nice little roll. Some people would describe it almost like a potato type of thing, but it's not really a potato. It's like starch. Cassava. Yeah. Or pounded yam. Pounded yam. A grand, a grounded yam and mixed and cooked properly. When we were younger, my grandma used to, she used to roll these, mommy, into a fine circle like yeah. this. Yeah. It's yeah. a nice ball. Yeah, dig it. Put it here. So here we go. I've not had this for a long time. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. This is what a Sophie in London did on that film. Go enjoy yourself. <laughs> oh wow. You guys, a Sophie in London is a film where and this is not nail friendly. Look. It's gonna get under your nails, the suit. You okay. can you can use them um, fork and um I don't know how to show them with nails. Do this. Right mommy? Mm -hmm. With long nails. Mm -mm. It does taste good. So when my brother comes in, he said he's going to finish this up. So I'm only going to eat a little bit so he can have some of this. Because I'm not like big on it. it a goosey is the best though. There's always an argument too. Some people say okra soup. Some people say a goosey soup. There's so many different types of soup. Maybe we should do a video where we try um, five different soups of Nigeria. Yeah. And then we blindfold someone to guess which one is which. That's a good video. What? Well, you would know. And I did not know. Yeah. Well, that's what you think. Some of them are confusing, right? What? Really? Uh -huh. <laughs> you are born in Nigeria. Slimy. Mm -hmm. Well, then that's better for one of us then. So. The goosey soup is nice. Eh? Mm -hmm. See how my dad does it. There's like an art. There's an art in how he does it. I just pull it off. Yeah, it's melon seed. It's melon seed? That's why it tastes good. Nigerian it's like a yellowy texture. Special of lemon. Mm -hmm. Show them that you're jelly meat. And tell them what that meat is. The yeah. long one. Kind of hold it up to the camera. Yeah, it's a distance. Hold it up to the camera so you can see. Look. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, skin. Bring it up closer. He doesn't want to like, ruin his meal. <laughs> It's good. Mm -hmm. What's the one you call can Kanda? <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that a nickname or the official name? It's a nickname. Oh, mm -hmm. you want to have some? Mm -hmm. You want to have some, mommy? Do dogs in Nigeria eat this? By the way. <laughs> they don't get an upset stomach? Huh? Um, it depends on how they are been trained. Yeah, I've given Raven some before and she liked it. She went crazy. She was like, yeah. excited. <laughs> Just a little lick of it. 
Raven will eat some jollof fries. Raven will eat some jollof fries. Wow. Food. True Nigerian dog. So this right? one can knock you out. Can knock you out. So yeah. This food. This Sometimes this food makes him sleep. Paper. Knock you out, send you to sleep. <laughs> it's really heavy. You wake up tomorrow, tomorrow morning stronger. I don't know about stronger. I feel ah. like more worn out. Mm. Uh, with, uh, I said it, 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 it makes the oxygen. You said the, you have to come closer, they can't hear you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And the meat is good. Mm -mm. It's a bit spicy. This tastes good too. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they're mixing there. It's melon. The, melon seed. Oh, this is the melon seed. Melon seed. Wow. It's not the sweet melon. Mm -hmm. It's a special melon in Nigeria. And a different species. A different, a different species of melon. The seed is grounded. Tastes good. They grind it and then <clears throat> cook with it. Tastes good. Mm -hmm. It's great. Yeah. Good. Love it. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. 50 out of 10. No, it has to be 10 out of 10. <laughs> It's more than 100%. <laughs> Basically, it breaks the bar. Yeah. Wow. We're enjoying. Thank you for the food. You're welcome. It kind of slows you down there. It slows down your oxygen. It's not. <laughs> That's what my brother says. My older brother says that. It's opening all the arteries, all the veins, <laughs> all the... All this thing. Yeah. Imagine if you can buy this on Amazon. Package and, and ship with Amazon Prime. You'll be ordering all the time, right? And that man will be richer. <laughs> if he starts selling Nigerian food oh, on Amazon, um, he'll be richer. Yeah. Because, uh, Nigeria, everywhere, the Nigerians will order. Uh, everywhere it, they are, everywhere. yeah. Everywhere. If he does it like overnight, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it will be exactly what we call wait and take. <laughs> Immediately. Quickly. <laughs> Nigeria call it wait and take. Mm -hmm. So, on. On delivery. Mum, you like the smell of our food? Um, yeah, um, I have the... You jealous? No, 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 no. Oh, you would need this. This is going to open you up. You want to take some? Which one? Yeah, I have the... I this have is going to open you up. But you, be careful so you is don't... Is it come peppery? Around. It's very peppery. Yeah, I need some for sure. Mama, take a little no, take bit. take a little bit out and then bring it. No, I'm not done. It. Take some out for Ooh, yourself. No, when you finish, don't worry. Go ahead. When you finish. It's very Enjoy your food. Enjoy you yourself. Get some moment, yeah. yeah, get some moment. Enjoy yourself. Take some of this rice. It's peppery. Oh, yeah. You're open yeah. your... Yeah. She mama has a cold. Go on with mama. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. If you eat the dizzy bag, cold will run away. Yeah. <coughs> Raven! Please will come and take some food. So I'm going to embarrass my dad a bit. When we were younger, and he used to pick us up from school, or just comfort, parents, evening or whatever, he would wear, I wish my brothers were here to confirm this, because he might deny it, but he used to always be a little bit overdressed at the school. Mama, you know that? Mm -hmm. That we'll be so embarrassed, because back in England, they're more like toned down. It took him long to know about toning down. I guess Nigerians feel that for things like that, you have to be dressed up when you come to like parents' evening. So we'll get so embarrassed because all the other parents will be in like trainers or sneakers with jeans, ripped jeans, some of them. And then our dad comes out with a suit on. We were so embarrassed. And you didn't know we were embarrassed, did you? You <laughs> You were, you we were, were just praying our dad should be one of the dads with ripped jeans on. You were embarrassed. <laughs> yes, I wasn't. And you didn't feel out of place? I just dressed the best I could. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then late, it's actually later in life in London you tone down. You can now wear, you can now wear like more relaxed clothes, jeans in the office. Mm -hmm. But in those early days, back in the nineties, late, late nineties, night early nineties, it was always like a suit. Mm -hmm. I wasn't. We were so, not, so not, shy. Not with time. Anyway. Not on time, but it was like. Dressier, yeah, like Dressier than the usual parents. Yeah, sometimes you just I need something to throw over my body because yeah. of a little cold over there. We used to dread anything when they called parents at school because we would, we knew our dad will stand out. We were just so shy. And another thing too, 
Is I notice British people are very dressed. They like to dress up a lot. When I look at how the royal wedding are, they, they put a lot of effort into their dress, which I appreciate anyway, being in fashion, right? They like to, they call it, how he used to dress up is like how, we'll say bloke, those in England, you like mm. to mm. be like a mm. bloke, yeah, mm. gentleman, basically. Yeah. And that's what I think Americans admire about the Brits, is they put like a lot of effort into looking put together. A bit smart. A bit smart, yeah. It's a word. So, when what are the things you miss about England in, Mommy, in take, America? Take this. Yeah, we don't need that, do we? It's in the way, right? We can leave it there. What are the things you miss about England now living in America? Mm. The top things that you miss. What happened, Mommy? <laughs> what are the top things you miss? I miss some. Why do you want me to take? First, um, I take this. <clears throat> like I have freedom to eat. Is that okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Needs like arm arm space. What are the things you miss in England? I miss um some of my good friends. Um but then that it's more of this social um And we're comparing Houston, not yeah, not it's, it's, not the whole of America because Because I don't live in another part yeah, of America. Yeah, it's different. When we're saying Houston, Sugarland. Yeah. Because Houston's very spread out compared to London, everything's kind of like close knit. So when we first came here, it was like a bit of a not I wouldn't say culture shock, but just a shock because no. everything's just spread out. So some people like it's, it's like I was I went, it's like I was living in the in a vast Place, land yeah. and there was nobody. Yeah. So yeah. For um, years we had like nowhere to go. Yeah, because. Um, in London, it's because it's stuff. too Trains. close, the public transport, yeah, someone is always going to stand in your face. You might see drunk people fighting on the bus. And then you would, um, you have to interact yeah. somehow. Yeah. Maybe you see inside, drama in the bus. Und yeah. Inside underground Someone train, fighting who not paying their bus fare. Underground. It's entertainment for the day. Bus, uh, tram, what again, and many others. Mm -hmm. But then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you step out from your house straight into your car into your in car fact, from your garage from your garage into, <laughs> into your, your car, car. <laughs> and, and from the your car into, into the your, store into the store yeah or into your office yeah so you rarely interact with any person any human being unless you make your way uh, out, unless you go uh, out of your way uh, yeah so but in London Anywhere you turn, so where you can get in your house, everybody, people, even in your close. house, they're yeah. very close. Like, I remember sometimes I'll hit my the mm. next door neighbor's yeah. door and be banging and talking to them so, in the night. That was the shock, but um, but then I think going to Nigerian parties, eating jollof rice with the fellow Nigerians when I we finally discovered where they, they are, we never knew that there were lots of Nigerians here. Yeah. So by the time we discovered, we started going to parties, eating the love yeah. rice, yeah. and um, interacting with people. Yeah. And that um, helped a little bit. Yeah. But um, London is still. Ooh, I got a big one. Enjoy yourself. Uh, enjoy yourself. That, <laughs> is that, that um, what is that? <laughs> that um, it's like a jelly. It's jelly, truly. Yeah, I'm going try some. The one you call jelly meat. Yeah. That's it. It's so, good, it's good. Let me come and get some rice. Okay. So, when you... Prepare to have messy fingers when you eat this food. Don't come in thinking you're going to be clean. That's what makes it tastier, right? When you get your fingers in there. So, I finished my shark, my shark. So, you're looking at mine? Yeah. Is this not your soup? This looks like your soup, man. Is this a soup? No, 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 this is mine. That's yours? Yeah, because you put a meat from something else. That's yours. But this look, 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 this meat was from something else, right? This meat is big or what? They're huge. Look at the meat. Wow. Hold it up to the camera so you can see. Wow. Well, yeah, this monster meat. Monster meat. <laughs> <It's hot meat. laughs> the German is big. Yeah. <laughs> We're chewing at the same time. 
This is good. This is the kind of meat that gets stuck in your teeth. And you have to like pick it out <laughs> later, right? This is good. And then the juicy pack of it. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. It's so good we can't talk as you're eating it. What are they talking? <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, one thing I find funny about London I miss is, as I was saying earlier, when someone, does, when someone gets on the bus and they don't pay their bus fare, the bus driver's like, turns off the engine. No, he doesn't say get off the bus. He quietly turns off the engine. <laughs> <laughs> turns off the ignition, puts the, the bus in park. Everyone's like, oh, man, get off the bus. He does that on purpose to start trouble with the people on the bus. Mm -hmm. if, you're, if, if he turns it off, that means no one's moving. Mm -hmm. Because of one person who doesn't want to pay 50 cents or one, one pound or 50p or one pound something, one pound 20. Mm -hmm. So he turn, he doesn't need to say a word, he just turns off the bus mm -hmm. and everyone's like, man, get off the bus. And that person will be really stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> but the whole bus is angry. So that person has one thing to either pay mm -hmm. or get off the bus. And then if there's young like young black boys on the bus, like they get really aggressive. Yeah. They're like, man, we'll get you off this bus. You can't hold everybody up. Until that person gets off the bus, that bus does not move. And the bus driver doesn't mind. They're paying him at the end of the day. But <laughs> you're not going to get on this bus. You just call his office yeah. from there. Yeah. And that's it. And then sometimes if you're waiting at the bus stop, you don't know what's holding up your bus. Then someone tells you someone's not paying. So the bus is held up down there. That's what I miss about London. You're, you just know the minute he turns off the engine, your day is done. Wherever you plan to be. That person who refused to pay that one pound, I think one pound twenty or something. Sometimes it will be like 50p. Yeah, so 50p. Very cheap too, but some people just don't want to pay it. <laughs> you can get a day pass as well and travel around the whole of London for a day. Like a pass to go everywhere. Yeah, mm. it's getting expensive now. Yeah, it's expensive. I think it's, it's easier to Uber oh. if you're going on vacation, right? I would prefer taking the bus. bus. If it's a good weather. Yeah. You seem to have given up on your food. I haven't. I'm trying to let it sit yeah. in and then I'll continue. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. chicken is giving, the meat is giving me a tough time. Well, I'll break it down. But it's been good. Yeah. Yeah. You like it? I like it. Yeah. Someone's about to pass out here. Yeah. <laughs> mommy, mommy, start making my bed because I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to sleep very well tonight. I see tonight. the tiredness is set in, mommy. When someone leans back... If he doesn't eat too much, I want to sit too. I think that's why, yeah. Oh, did I get it? It's a good soup. You wiped it and put it in your mouth. What can I do? The only thing I don't like eating much at a time. Yeah. I eat bees and bees. Yeah. Um, bit by bit. Um, particularly so, snacks and then... I think we'll end the video joining us on this mukbang. As you can see, me and my dad, we destroyed this food. <laughs> uh, would you call this destroy? Because if yeah, one of my brothers watch this, they'll say no. Demolished. Demolished. Yeah, we demolished. We did, we did, we did, we did, we did. That's a big word. We demolished it. We, we kind of... Yeah. We brought it to nothing. No, there's still stuff here. My brothers will be laughing when they watch this video. Because they will finish Because they would like clear the whole of this table. So... If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more mukbangs of any kind, we could do different foods each time. But if you want to see a part two of Nigerian food, click down below, part two, hashtag part two, and we'll come with a part two with different food, different Nigerian food in here. We'll mix it up a bit with some new stuff. Or oh, any other. Or any, yeah. Any yeah, other. Yeah, maybe we can do like, yeah, you know. Hispanic. Hispanic, yeah. Cameroon, yeah. Do, yes, have Cameroon, yeah, I was going to say Cameroon food. Or even the Ghana jollof. We can... Mix it up. Let us know what you want to see next in the video, but we'll definitely like to part two of a Nigerian mukbang. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. Look at my hands. Like and vote for a vote fish or meat. Or meat. Remember, yeah. I, I like fish. Yeah. So I'm going to win. She likes meat. We'll see. I believe meat will win. A lot of people are meat eaters in this world. They I eat fish. Fish. Fish is gonna win. Okay, so if you want, my my dad is team fish. I'm team meat. So if you want team fish, put a fish emoji in, or just put hashtag team fish in the comment section down below. Comment section down below. And if you want team meat, put a meat emoji. You can find a meat emoji and that's for my team. We'll see who wins. And then I guess the next, whoever wins, we can do a mock bang with that particular food. 
a challenge where the, whoever wins has to. Because I don't like fish, so if fish wins, then I guess I'm gonna have to eat different types. You got to let. Yeah, we have to have if, a if fish. If fish wins, you'll be forced to eat fish next time. You guys come hard in the comment section for me and vote for meat in the comment section. Meat, meat for me, fish for him. Thank you so much for watching, girls, and I see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Here is Raven. Say hi. For those of you who've been wanting to see Raven, here she is. And she wants to try, what do you want to try Raven? Some chicken? You want to try chicken? She don't like fish, so she's team meat. She don't mess with fish, she hates the smell of it, it makes her sick. You want to get some chicken? Give her some of Yay! <laughs> you like it? Where is her? Her bow? Oh, it's in the room. They've seen it in a picture. <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Raven, say bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Give me a... Give me a... Give me a... Poor. 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 Bye, dolls. <laughs>